Hey y'all, this is Cowboy713 from Fishing Crew. Um, today we're going to learn about how to tie some different knots. Uh, this will be episode one in a series of videos I'm going to do on knot tying. Uh, we're going to start off with some terminal tackle knots. Uh, knots you use for tying your line to hooks, lures, swivels, weights, clips, etc. Um, in future episodes we'll go over snelling knots, uh, knots for snelling hooks, we'll go over loop knots, we will go over knots for doubling line, we'll go over knots for splicing line, and we will go over knots for uh, just general fishing use. Um, for today's um, episode we're going to go over the polymer knot. We're going to go over the uni knot. We're going to go over the improved clinch knot, the Davy knot, and the San Diego jam knot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with the polymer knot. Um, we're using a little bit oversized hook here, not too super big, but big enough to where you can see what I'm doing. And I will be using 80 pound monofilament fishing line again for visibility. Um, now for the polymer knot. We're going to go ahead and take our main line and we're going to double it over just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and pinch down this end here, like if I can get a grip on it, like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and insert this through the eye of the hook, just like that. Okay, so now you've got your doubled line going through the eye of your hook. Now we're going to go ahead and create an overhand knot with our doubled line, just like this. So you get your, your overhand knot right there. You go ahead and cinch that down, not too super tight, but tight. And now we're going to take this loop, this bunny ear here, and we're going to go around the hook, just like that. All I did, just slip it around the hook, good to go. Okay, so you got your overhand out here, you get your loop going around your hook. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my tag into my line, and I'm going to pull on it, like so. And it's going to tighten down and cinch down this big loop here. Now you notice I pulled that loop up and around my tag end and my main line. You don't want it sitting around the eye of your hook. Um, you want to make sure it's up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull on my main line a little bit, cinch everybody down real nice and good. Back and pull on my tag end again. And there you go. There's your nice, clean, pretty, compact polymer knot. You can see the doubled line there going around the eye of the hook. Trying to let this focus so you can see really good there. It's better. Now we're going to go through and we will clip off the tag end. Just like that. And there you go. Now the benefits of this knot is this is what we call a 100% breaking strength knot. Um, a lot of knots, no matter how well you tie them, you'll reduce some of the breaking strength of your fishing line when you tie them, um, whether it be due to friction, etc. Um, this knot is designed to maintain 100% of the breaking strength of your fishing line whenever you tie it. All right, it's not focusing real well for me. Um, I use this knot all the time. It's probably my favorite knot for tying on terminal tackle. Um, the only time this knot does become a pain is when you're tying it to a bunch of or to a lure with a bunch of treble hooks on it. One of the big Zara spooks, something like that, where it's got three, three or sometimes four treble hooks on them. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next knot here. Trim this guy off. Okay, so the next knot we're gonna go ahead and do is the uni knot. Now this knot has a variety of different uses. Um, it can be used for tying on terminal tackle like I'm going to show you right now. 
it can be used for snelling a hook. Um, it's a little bit faster way of snelling the hook than the traditional snell method, but um, personally I prefer the older, the traditional way, but that's okay. Um, another use for this knot is for splicing two lines together. Whether you're tying on, say, a fluorocarbon leader to a braid mainline. But we're going to go ahead and learn how to tie it as a uh, terminal tackle knot. So you're going to take the tag into your line here, and you're going to insert it through the eye of the hook, like so. You're going to go ahead and pull yourself some slack in your line, or some extra uh, tag end here. Go ahead and pinch this guy down just a little bit. And now you're going to take your tag end, and you're going to create a loop just like that. So you got your main line going up, goes through the eye of the hook, comes around, forms a loop. Okay, so now you got your tag end here. You're going to take your tag end and you're going to insert it through the loop here and it's going to go around your main line and the top part of this loop here, just like that. So it's going to go around once. It's going to go through again and around another time. And it's going to go through and around again. And we'll go ahead and do four for this one. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull on my tag end. Let this guy cinch down real good. See how that knot collapsed around itself? Now, if I was tying with the smaller line, say eight or 10 pound mono, I might do six or seven wraps with this um, braid. I might even use up to 15, depending on what size braid I'm using. Um, the smaller the line, the more wraps you're, wanna do, you're going to want to do. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and pull on my main line. Cinch this guy down nice and tight, just like that. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you. Oh, you can see that real well. Um, the wraps cinched down next to each other real nice and uniform. Creates a real smooth... Um, there we go. Creates a real smooth, uh, compact knot. This guy is super easy to tie, super simple, and you can practically tie it in your sleep once you get the hang of it. As always, we will go through and trim off the tag end. And there you go, that is the uni knot. Great little knot to learn. I recommend that everybody learn how to tie this knot. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next knot. Okay, so the next knot we're gonna learn how to tie is called the improved clinch knot. Now there is a regular clinch knot, and I will show you the difference between the two here in just a second. For the improved clinch knot, you're gonna go ahead and insert your tag into your line through the eye of the hook, just like that. You're going to pull yourself some uh, extra tag end of your line here. All right, I'm using... There we go. And now all you're going to do is you're just going to wrap your tag end around your main line. Three, four, five. We'll just do five. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your ta into your tag in here. You're going to insert it through this little gap right here next to the eye of your hook. So it's going to go back and through just like that. Okay, now if I was to go through and pull on this and cinch this whole thing down, that right there would be the regular clinch knot. Um, the reason why this knot needed to be improved is because this knot will slip. Um, with a big enough fish on here, enough tension, this tag end will slip out from underneath there. And you could lose a great fish or you could lose your prize lure or whatever. 
Um, so the way we improve this knot is you take your tag end and you're going to insert it through this bigger loop right here. So that's all you're doing is you're taking tag and goes through this loop and then it's going to come back and go through this loop just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and hold that with that thumb and forefinger. I'm going to pull on my main line, have this whole thing collapse like so. And continue to hold that for just a second while I tighten this down a little bit. And we'll pull this guy down nice and tight. Again, I'm just pulling on the main line. And we will go ahead and pull on tag in just a little bit just to make sure he's nice and snug in there. And you'll know you've done this not right if the tag end kicks off to the side like that. You see how those wraps cinch down real nice and uniform? Real smooth and tidy. There we go. Tag ends kicked out to the side over here. Real pretty clean uniform knot. A lot of fly fishermen like this knot because of how uniform and compact it is. We'll go ahead and trim off the tag end. And there you go. There is the improved clinch knot. Okay, next knot we're going to go ahead and learn how to tie is the Davy Knot. Now the Davy Knot is one of my favorites for fly tying. Um, it's super, super small and compact. Um, all you really do is you're going to insert your uh, tag in through the eye of your hook. You're going to bring your tag end around like so and you're going to create an overhand knot. Now, you're going to take this overhand knot, you're going to take your tag end, you're going to go through around the bottom part of your loop right here, and it's going to go around the back, it's going to come back up and through the middle of the loop. You see that nice little S curve I've got there? Now I'm going to slowly tighten this guy down just like so and it's gonna cinch down and there you go that's the whole knot right there you see how small and compact that knot is that's exactly why fly fishermen love this knot trim off the tag in and show you really how small this thing is That's the whole knot right there. Very strong knot, holds very well. The tighter you pull this thing, the tighter it cinches down. Works great for small tippets, four six pound tippet, and a small like size 22 uh, zebra midge. Caught loads of big rainbow trout on the Guadalupe River fishing this knot with my small midges and nymphs. And there you go, that is the Davy Knot. Super small, super simple. Okay, now last but not least, our final knot for this evening is going to be the San Diego Jam Knot. It's very simple, or it's very similar to the Davy Knot. I'm gonna reduce my line size here. This is 30 pound monofilament. Make life easier on me a little bit here. You're gonna insert your line through the eye of your hook and just like with the Davy knot you're going to create your overhand knot here and now you're going to go down and around the bottom part of the loop up through the middle you're going to go over the top part of the loop around 
come back through the middle. We're going to go under, around, and through. We're going to go over, oops, over, around, and through. You're going to go under, around, and through. Oops. And we'll go over, around, and through, and under, around, and Oops, sorry, I got out of the frame there. Under, around, and through. Last time, okay. So there we go. So you've got all these zigzag wraps here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna insert it through this little gap right here, like so. And now, everything's nice and straight and uniform and you're gonna slowly Pull on your main line and it's going to cinch all those wraps down in this little zigzag pattern. Pull my tag in there. Pull it down nice and tight. Pull on my tag in. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll pull on the main line one more time, just to sure it up. Trim off the tag end. And, let's see, there you go. That is the San Diego Jam Knot. It's kind of hard to see all those little zigzags in there. It kind of goes back and forth. The harder you pull on this line, the tighter that knot gets and the harder it is for it to slip. It cinches down even tighter as you pull on it. There we go. And there you have the San Diego Jam Knot. Alright y'all, that is the end of this episode. Um, if there's any knots that you would like to see me tie that I haven't tied, um, please drop me a line in the comments below or hit me up on Fishing Crew. Again, my username is Cowboy713. Um, next episode, we will probably be talking about Snelling Knots. Um, and we will move forward through the series from there. Hope to catch you all next time. Have a great one.